tonight I spent a few hours in downtown Dallas covering the protests that were taking place. There were some situations that I wanted to point out that include Black Lives Matter and them instigating a lot of the damage that was caused down there. The person that you hear saying left, left, left is one of the Black Lives Matter managers. He's on the megaphone and he was the one directing the group. Now I understand that everyone's accountable for their own actions. And just because someone suggests that you do something doesn't mean necessarily that they are responsible if you choose to do them. It's your decision if you decide to do something illegal. But him as a manager of this protest, and you have to understand the mentality of a mob when they get together, the energy that he put into directing the crowd, I believe he has to be held to a higher standard with some of the things that he says. And what he says, you'll hear in a moment, that should be of concern. Did you hear that? He said there's a hundred bricks on the corner. A hundred bricks on the corner. Now along with that, I want you to notice this guy right here in the ripped jeans. Remember his face, because he plays a role in this in a few moments. The building that you're going to see them attack is the George Allen Civil Court building. In the federal building now. Here's the dude with the ripped pants throwing one of the bricks that Black Lives Matter suggested that they pick up from the corner. You're going to see him again throwing some more bricks.
before you get all pissed off at me for pointing this guy out, you have to understand one thing. Whether or not you're for or against protests like this, that's, that's besides the point. My position, I am a law enforcement supporter, but only the ones that are not corrupt. I myself, personally, can attest to the corrupt ones because I had my civil rights violated in a situation here in Dallas, and I took that case all the way to the Supreme Court, and I won. I'm the reason why you have open carry in Texas. My case, Shereni v. Texas, was the one that forced them to change the laws. So I am very well aware of corrupt law enforcement officers and what they can do to people and, of course, how difficult it is to hold them accountable. So I understand the frustration that's going on here. But what I don't appreciate is my tax dollars having to go to pay for this idiot's choice of smashing windows along with the rest of them and, of course, Black Lives Matter instigating this situation. As for the rest of the event that I've covered, check back to my channel and you'll see additional footage that I'll be releasing as I go through it and edit out the boring parts. As for the Dallas PD, I think they did a pretty good job tonight with all things considered. I think they kept their cool as they were being taunted with bricks being thrown at their cars while they were in it. A lot of the protesters were trying to get in their face and instigate them to react, which they didn't. There was no show of real force other than they pretty much followed the group around and pretty much had to just maintain the streets and get the crap out of the streets that the protesters threw in to block the traffic. But all told, they did a very good job. I'll give them a passing grade this time. Please show your support and like and subscribe to this video and you will stay informed whenever I release new footage.